So, do you have a favorite song that you've heard that that uh, sampled Lottie Dottie? Um, there was a mix that that Pete Rock did for I believe it was him, and he did it for Monica, and he used the ending of Lottie Dottie, where I'm doing this beat and I'm going. And he looped that part of the beat. And then he and, and Monica is singing, I never meant to cause you no pain. I never would have thought about using that part of the beat when I made it up, you know? But but to me, I really liked what he did with that. You know, and even Will Smith when he was in uh, Men in Black and Biz was in there with him. Right. The beat that 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 Will Smith is doing in there when he's talking to him is another beatbox beat that I made up too. You know? And it's those, you know, and I liked it. I liked that he he tried to incorporate the beatbox into men in black and have them interacting and talking in the beatbox style I thought that that was great and I th- and I thought and I knew that Will had to have been very instrumental in that that would have never happened if it was just Hollywood doing what they do right so there's special little moments that I see in hip hop where there's really no words that that you can use to describe, you know, how how sometimes when you contribute, how you know your contribution can make a major change in in the game. You know, like the two DJs. Nobody ever thought that these two DJs would create DJs DJing together. You know, like the DJ executioners and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, with Slick Rick style, you know, and me grabbing him and saying, hey, let me give this dude a shot and let's have some fun. Having Joe created Lottie Dottie. And I could have jumped on it and rhymed through it with him. But I said, no, 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 no. I want him to do what he do. And I wanted people to really get the, you know, get the uniqueness of his style while I was giving them the uniqueness of mine, which is beatbox. And people really don't realize that there is no instruments on that song at all. Right. So yeah. that in itself says a lot. Like some of these songs that are sampled are all, in, like they have instruments in them and stuff. I'm the only instrument. Like I'm the, I'm the band. Yeah. And Great. he's the vocalist. So, you know, when you really wrap your mind around it, it really makes you look at it and go, yo, man, this is just uh, this is one of these special things. And and for all different age demographics to talk about how much they love the show. Or when I look at Beyonce's performance, how she'll use this show when it comes on, how she'll use that as the introduction to her performance. Or watch her dance to Freaks, you know, with Little Vicious, which is another young artist that I gave an opportunity as the first beatbox dance hall uh, song with an artist that's like 12 years old, you know, so I just feel I was always a person to take a chance, follow my instincts, and, and to go with it, you know, just to flow with my energy and and as long as I do that, it's gonna work out, you know? Right, 